<clears throat> on today's episode of Binchow's Garage, we're tearing down the last of the VR6 head. Uh, this is a 12 valve VR6. So we're going to show you guys how to take the lifters, retainers, and valves out. And then we're going to drop it off at the machine shop. Because you know what? Because this is Pinchiao's Garage and this is what we do. So let's get to work. First, um, before you do everything, obviously the cams have to come out. If you guys watched my previous teardown video, that will walk you through the entire process. You're going to need a magnetic pickup tool. And on this head, we're going to rebuild the entire head, meaning we're putting new valve, new lifters. So none of these lifters are going to be uh, reused. So when you take them out, they literally just slide right out like that. Um, the reason why we're not going to reuse these is because this engine ran with no oil for a little while. So I don't want to use um, lifters that have possible uh, scoring or, uh, or you know oil starvation uh, damage. So we're just going to buy all new lifters. They're very affordable, so this is kind of the right way to go. So, but if your head is really good and the lifters are good, every lift that you pull out, remember in the order they came out in because you got to put them back in the exact exact same spot so they wear correctly in their uh, original home but since we're not keeping any of the lifters we're gonna toss them all but we're keeping all the retainers and springs just do what you can so right now we're taking out the lifters again I'm not keeping these I'm just throwing them in a box so I can just keep them all together Okay, all 12 are in here. Next step is to pop out the lifters and retainers. I mean, the, the springs and retainers. Now, there's a process for this. Make sure you keep your uh, magnetic tool handy. Um, you're going to need a rubber mallet and a socket uh, much larger than the uh, keepers so you don't damage it. So. You guys can see so what we're gonna have to do is uh, you're gonna get a socket that's pretty big and you're gonna get a rubber mallet not a hard not a metal mallet but a rubber mallet so I grab my rubber mallet um, a half inch extension about 10 inches long and an 18 socket and you pick any valve doesn't really matter um, you're gonna center it and you're literally just gonna give it a freaking gnarly whack can you make sure it's flat and then Push down on it, and before you even hit it, if it doesn't work, just do it again. Eventually, they'll pop right out, but they're not coming out right now. All right. Maybe I'm too tired. So my uh, rubber mallet on this one didn't work. There's not enough force. So unfortunately I have to use my three pound uh, mini sledge. Um, so in doing so we got to be very careful and how we hit it. That way we don't hit score the sides uh, of the, the valve guides. Not the valve guides, I'm sorry. Uh, score the sides of the lifter guys there we go so make sure that nothing gets looks damaged when you take them off this is the first one I did hold on so you'll notice there's two springs in here so these two springs is I mean that's why you gotta hit it a little bit harder than normal to get them off so but that's a complete removal right there and just repeat the process 12 11 more times 
So one thing you're also going to have to remember is that you're going to have to put a chunk of wood on the side of the block underneath it. That way it's high up. That way when you're hitting it down it doesn't uh, bend the valve on its way out. We are not reusing the valves on this block by the way as well. This all has to be replaced. So you're going to put it right there. Make sure it's flat. Hold it down. And give it a good whack. There's one. There's the other one. You can see. All the valves are out. Keepers are not the keepers, but the retainers unscathed, so that's a plus in my book. Keep repeating the process until you're done. So now that we got all the lifters, retainers, the springs, the keepers, all removed. Now the valves. The valves are stupid easy. Um, you pretty much pick the head up and they should just fall out. If they don't fall out, pretty straightforward. Just grab them, pull them out. Just like that. Now the reason why we tear down the block prior to taking it to the machine shop, it saves you a lot of money. And when I mean a lot, it saves you anywhere from like two to four hundred dollars just doing this job um, prior to taking it to the machine shop. I mean, it takes you about an hour to do it. Um, don't drop your valves if you're going to reuse them. Um, trying to think what else I can tell you yeah um, so make sure you remove all your cam caps in the order they came out on and you put them back in the same way um, they are numeric so one is it a well, that's wrong <laughs> that's one I think I put them on here just for yeah because they're not even on but yeah, it's supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like that. Um, one and three, no, one and four are swapped. So, just remember that, guys. Um, they're, again, they're really straightforward. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So, and this is the front of the block. This is the back of the block. This is where the cams are. So this is where the transmission is. Um, that's how you know the front and back. So front, back, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Keep all the nuts and all your other stuff with it. Don't lose them. They stick. They stay together. And that's it. We're gonna go to the machine shop in a little bit. We'll introduce you guys to the uh, the owners, and then um, get this uh, this bad boy ready for a build. We should see it back by next week, maybe two weeks tops. They don't take very long. Uh, it just depends how backed up they are and work. But um, Paradise Motorsports is pretty dang good in getting stuff done. John, the main guy. The, guy, the main uh, machinist there is a phenomenal, phenomenal machinist, and he gets stuff done pretty dang quick. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. So, have a good one, and thanks for watching this quick uh, DIY for tearing down your uh, 12 valve VR6 head. We will get to you back. We'll get back to you uh, showing you guys. Hopefully, they'll let us uh, film. The machine process of the 12 valve. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out when we get to that point. That'll be exciting to watch. Okay, so this is what they need to receive at the machine shop is a completely bare head um, because we're going to be rebuilding the head ourselves. 
uh, when it comes back. All they're going to do is hot tank it, make it look pretty again, uh, grind the valve seats, and that's it. Oh, and pull all the stem seals out. We're going to be putting all brand new stem seals, new valves. Um, I'll ask them what it will cost to put new uh, valve guides. Uh, see what if see if they're still within specifications. If not, um, we're gonna probably have to do new valve guides in here as well. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out, and have a wonderful day.